Hey folks, this is Johnny, and welcome to another Studio One Six video. It is February 2nd, and this is the second video for this month, as I will be releasing a video a day, every day for the month of February. So the question came up in the uh, Personas forums on what is the easiest way to move a song to the project page should i mix it down do i have to go through all that can i just move the song as it stands so i'm just going to quickly walk through the basics of doing this and then i'll have another video later on where i'm going to show you all of the options of the project page all right so here is our song as it stands Alright, so what we want to do is we want to move this to the project page for mastering. Alright, so uh, let's do this. Now, I don't have a project all set up for this. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to song. And we are going to go down here and we are going to say add to project. So now we have the ability to create a new project or open up one that we've done before. Uh, I'm just going to do a new project and it's going to be called uh, the Envoice One Demo. So I'm going to just do this. So now what happens is Studio One shows us the options for this and whether we want to keep it at 44.1 or whether we want to go to 48. I think we're going to keep it at 44.1. And this would be importing a track from a DDP image. That's for another video for sure, but I'll show you guys all that at some point. All right, so we're just going to kind of go ahead and let it stick in the same song folder, and we're going to click OK now. So what this is going to do is this is going to open up a new project, and it's going to say um, the sample rate does not match. But we're going to go ahead and do this anyway because this is something that we can actually change later. So I'm going to click OK, and now it's getting the event ready, and it is asking if I want to actually continue with this. And I'm going to say, okay, so now it bounces back to the song page and it does a mix down, a quick mix down. Now, if you were using external instruments in this, like maybe an external sound module, it would do the song in real time. But in this case, since we're only using VST plugins, it's going to do this as a quick mix. I call this a quick mix. And it's almost done. It's only a couple of seconds long. So, and... There it is. All right, so now we're going to click OK, and it does this. Now, yes, I did do this on purpose. So there's a problem here. It makes down the song, but it makes down longer. Watch this. Oh, I have to set the outputs on this. So we're going to go to Project. This is something that also stumbles people, Project Setup. There uh, we go. So here are our outputs. So now, since I'm using a mixer, my outputs are on 37 and 38, which are a little bit further down. There we go. 37 and 38. So we want that to be the master, just like that. Bam. And click OK. So now we should actually hear the song. There it is. So you might be asking, why did this happen? <laughs> I'm going to show you. So we're going to go back to the song page. So now you can see that we have the loop zone set, but it's always a good idea to make sure that you set the start and end markers as well. So we're going to go to the markers, and you can see I got the start marker here, but I don't have the end marker here. Now I have a little shortcut that I created. Let's see if this is going to work here. Boom. Yep, there it is. All right, and I have another video coming on how to create this little option here. All right, so there we go. It's coming to the end of this. I'm just going to give it a little bit more space, and I'm going to move this out. So now I'm going to go back to the project page, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to right-click. Now we can actually do an update, but we're going to right-click, and we're going to say remove track. So there we go, gone. Let's go back to the song page. And let's go ahead and go song. And let's go ahead, add to project. And we're going to add to this one here. And it's going to pop up. It's going to ask us the same stuff. We're going to click OK. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and let it mix down just that portion of the song. 
Perfect. So now we have our song in our project page. So we're going to go like this. There we go. Now, once you actually get a bunch of songs in your project page, you'll be able to actually update the loudness information. You'll also be able to add inserts like uh, EQ and compression, pretty much whatever effects Studio One has available. We can actually go to the browser and we can see here, go to, uh, we want to go to effects and we pretty much have everything available here. Just like that. So if you want to add to a song, you would actually add it here. If you want to add it to the master, let's say you've got three or four songs, you would actually add those here and here. If you wanted to affect all of the songs equally, and there's another video coming up for that very soon. So there you go. That is how to move a song to the project page from the song page. I hope that this helps. If you need a little bit more in depth, please let me know in the comments below and I can do that video in no time for you. Thanks a lot and I'll see you guys in the next video.